Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss what, how to create a logging page or using Microsoft SQL Server in ASP.NET MVC. So, in my last video, I discussed about how to create a registration form by using Microsoft SQL Server. So, you should check this video, how to create registration form in ASP.NET with SQL Server. After uh, uh, following this video, let's see how to create a login page. So right click and here add web form and here giving the name login. Click on OK. So right here this is the source. Now here after go to design. Now at this place going to write login page and here select this one here this is for paragraph and here by using this you can increase the size let's uh, select the color if you want then here you can use under line and here this is for bold now here after go to table and here insert table so i'm going to use three rows and two columns now at this place here user name and here password and this is for username and password now at this place we need to add text box control so not this place here and or oh, this one is too large this is a text box and here let's give text box second now here after we need to, to add to or two more control first is button control so button you can find offer and here this button I'm going to use hyperlink and one label control now here after let's uh, do some modification so one more thing let's uh, use variant very decent control require field by editor require field by editor now here after let's uh, select this right click properties so at here going to change the name so this is at here going to use for name so txt name Now here this for txt password. Now here after required field by data. So ID wanted to change here error masses. That's required. Here going to write enter your name this is masses your masses enter the password now here auto let's scroll up So right here for color, so going to select uh, deep red and here you can select uh, this one for color deep red. Now here after here somewhere you can find control to validate.
control to validate so this is selected at here first one so that's for txt name and here this is for txt password so in password or we to do some verification so here you can see single line so password that is for password you should select text mode password now here after the next is here label text property going to put blank now here button text here going to size and here sign sign in and here this one text property going to put sign up sign in and sign up now here this all i think it's done here after let's double click on the button control so button click event it's open here let's remove this package not required we are going to add the important package system dot data and here after using system dot data dot sql client now here after i already written one code so add here this code i'm going to copy and paste it inside button one click event and here or text box one so add here let's do modification txt name that's for and here this is for text txt password and here if row greater than 1 so at your server transfer yahoo.aspx so here i'm going to create to one new web form with the name of uh, yahoo press ok yahoo.aspx it's created let's give at here capture So inside here, go to designer and here standard, going to select image, now right click properties, here image here. So going to select one image, here. so this is the image. Now here after this part, it's done, here part. So server dot transfer if uh, the value is greater than zero then that transfer yahoo dot aspx and the output display logging successful now here after there is uh, one important thing go to server explorer this is the table and here you can see the table record so add here adam the first name and your password 1234 now here this is the login here after uh, okay one more thing this is a uh, uh, hyperlink if you scroll down here you can see navigate here so this i'm going to uh, this is for sign up so i already created one registration page so you need to use registration.aspx now i think uh, it's almost done click on execute and here you can see login page that open so if i click on sign in so add here enter your name into the password so let's get the end name now so this error that gone now here it's asking what to enter the password Suppose if I enter wrong password, click. So add here your username and password that is correct. So add here this is incorrect. 
now you have to cancel and here go to login so add here I forget to write password now execute once again now here Adam again sign in let's give for wrong password so add here in username password is incorrect now here after if I give correct so add here login that is successful Now here after let's so uh, scroll back and uh, here so if you don't have any or if you don't know about the username and password click on sign up here give for all this all detail so in my last video there I discussed about this all those things how to create a registration so at here I'm giving the, the name John Fosten name and here you can use any password that must be at the rate sorry email at the rate and here let's give remaining password now here after so this two must be remember name first name and the password so there is the one user is created 